My name is Colleen Spiegelhoff. I'm a national elite women's lacrosse official with nearly 20 years of experience teaching and officiating the sport of girls lacrosse. I've created a series of short videos with a 3D model to help explain the toughest rule in girls lacrosse, shooting space. I talk a lot about layers with shooting space and how you really have to pay attention to the layers. And this is a good scenario for talking about just exactly that. If we look at it from above, the low layer would be that de low defender right in front of the goal, denying the attack the opportunity to shoot. She's, in, she's outside the goal circle, between the ball and the goal circle, and the ball carrier can't shoot safely. However, if we come back down and look at the angle down here, which is a double team, there's the possibility that this double team is preventing the ball carrier from having the opportunity to shoot safely. What does that mean? That means that she's being so closely marked that if she were to try to take the shot, she has the potential to hit the, either one of those two um, defenders in the double team and technically doesn't have the ability to take a safe shot. Yes, she is obstructing the free space to goal. That low defender is in that free space. But because of the double team, that ball carrier doesn't have the opportunity to take a safe shot. Because of that, even though the low defender is in that lane, she should not be called for shooting space.